Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Waterwise and welcome back to From the Depths. Building a complete ship start to finish. This is going to be a long series, so I hope everyone's uh, buckled in nice and tight into their seats with seat belts and they have the popcorn ready. So, it's been a while since the last one. Uh, I'm doing this in bursts, so to speak, because one of the worst things you can do uh, in From the Depths when building something, especially if it's something big like this. This is a big ship, by the way. Not the biggest, but it's still pretty large. Uh, burning yourself out on it is a bad idea, so we're doing it in batches uh, so I don't get sick of it and regret all my life decisions. So, uh, last time uh, we did the ammo compartments, and we did the ammo compartments... Um, Partially so, uh, we did them early, you don't have to, like I said before in previous uh, versions of this, you can build stuff in any order you feel most comfortable with, everyone's a little different, and um, in this case, I want to build, the, I wanted to put ammo in, so we can immediately start playtesting with all the weapons we're putting on this. So yes, it's weapons time. We're gonna do missiles and torpedoes, so, uh, there's a whole bunch of different ways you can set those up. We are keeping it simple, uh, we're going to have radar guided missiles, and we're going to have torpedoes. So, I'm going to, like, and everything I do in this is subject to change, uh, by the way, like, I might tear up the engines, I might do all kinds of, like, stuff just to, like, optimize it later. There might be actually an optimization uh, episode, there's certainly going to be a combat testing episode, that's way in the future, but uh, let's get in and start building some missiles. So, missiles? Missiles? Depends on your accent. Uh, so, we're going to go with large missiles, and I'm going to put them to more towards the front here, and uh, if we really want to, we can put extra stuff here, so halfway uh, the ammo compartments, we can do missile stuff. So, lettuce, delicious lettuce. Uh, let's see, how long is this, is the question. Let's measure this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, and that will be nice, nice, nice. And we're going to do large missiles. Large missiles are fun. So fun. So the missiles are the first weapon we're going to put on here uh, because uh, they're simple. They are the simplest form of weapon apart from simple weapons. And because they tend to be buried inside the hull a little bit, uh, you kind of need to do them first if you want to do stuff. And we could put launch uh, ejectors on here, but we're not going to. So we're going to just do a wee something like this. And we're going to save a little bit of space. I'm going to turn the UI back on because that's a good idea. And in the case of this, this doesn't need a fail safe, so we're going to go the El Cheapo route and use a regular local weapon controller and we're going to mess with this before we forget so missiles don't like hitting things beneath the water so we're going to do that and identify friend or foe and staggered fire we'll mess with that later and we're just going to what are we going to do what did i have the plan all right so i had plans here uh, and they've already gone out the window because i've spontaneously decided Let's make large missiles. So yeah, that's just kind of where we are, and we're gonna have a two by two hatch. One, two, three, four. Whoops. Five, six, seven. Yes, 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 yes. Hopefully, we have enough ammo for this. But the great thing about ammo compartments is that it's easy to add more of them, provided you have space. So we're gonna do that. Lovely, lovely. And what do we have here? Do we have enough room for? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten! Beautiful! Oh, so nice. So we got the active radar seeker. A HE warhead, EMP warhead, frag warhead. Uh, APM guidance is already where exactly where I wanted to be. Signal processor, very useful. Uh, for uh, dealing with decoys and stuff. And I was looking at the wrong thing. Signal processor. Fuel tank. Fuel tank, fins, variable thruster. So, we can... The thrusteration is already pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all nice. It's all nice. And we can set the custom... What shall we set this to? Uh, brr. 
What can we set the... I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. All right, so. Variable thrusters, anything we want to do with it? Nah. We're just going to do that and let us, so we can get almost a constant volley, do a little bit of math here. Because math is fun. Um, reload time. We want something like da 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 31.6 and 31.6 divided by 16. I'm gonna pull up my handy dandy calculator. 31.6 divided by 16 equals uh, 1975. So roughly 2. Uh, so we could set this to 2, roughly so, uh, to get a nice constant straight of fire, but I do want volleys, so let's do continuous full salvo because that is the best opportunity to get uh, stuff to happen so and now let's check if our ammo function is happy uh, you retire oh my goodness that's already we're gonna need more ammo we're gonna need to build this uh, way up a bit more <laughs> all right so let's test our missile system uh, because why not that's fun okay, let's first save always save that went actually even faster than I thought missiles are great they're so simple they are simple, easy, easy breezy, lemon squeezy, and we probably don't even really need to manually fire them. Let's see if they go just because. Let's go over here, spawn in our friend the Marauder, and wait for it. Yep, there we go. And immediately we have a combat-capable ship, because missiles are just so idiot-proof like that. It's weird, kind of, uh, that missiles are are the, kind of the new weapon. Oh yeah, explosion mod. Explosion mod is good. And I might mess with the frag angle uh, later, but... Um, yeah, that's basically it. Like, well, we have accomplished missiles. And... I could do something different with the torpedoes, but I'm not going to. Uh, just to keep this really stupid simple, we can actually launch them vertically. So let's do... What we're going to do is just prefab all of this. Like, you can aim them down so they fire, like, uh, through the hull, so to speak. Um, but I'm going to be lazy as hell and fire them vertically. And we'll see how that works. And that's on the rear, so... Uh, to minimize the chance of us driving into them, because we're mostly going to be driving forwards, at least that's the plan. And let's go here, and and let's go here, and we're going to change this to something like that, and now, and we have no materials, but now we do. Okay, so this is torps, and it's often quite handy, we are probably going to have to uh, set this up with different AIs, I might do that um, some other time, because it's useful to have, especially if you're playing through the campaign, to have full control over what your ships are doing. You don't always want big expensive missiles firing. Um, so, yeah. How many AIs? Missiles and torps. Oh, we do. Oh, hello. We already have that. I'm a genius. Alright, so... Two transmitters on channel... Interesting. Okay, so let's go back, and this is where you can find out whether you're being silly. Alright, let's so where is this? That is... And that should be channel 3. There we go. There we go. This is the problem with coming back to something like this, is, um... You realize just how, uh, like, uh, you forget bits of your own ship. But it is nice to, just coming back to it, you immediately are like, Oh, okay, yep, 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 whoops. Should have done that. We Let's just save. In case of disaster. Do, 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 do. How expensive is this? This thing's already, like, jumped up in cost considerably. So, this is almost exactly the same. Almost exactly the same. Uh, so, Sonar Seeker. First Sonar Seeker. I literally have notes here because I don't trust myself. Uh, HE Warhead, EMP Warhead, uh, I think I might... Alright, so we need a one turn, that's important. Um, I'm going to swap out the fuel tank for a one turn, because that gives almost as much fuel. 
Um, and there's a fun thing with torpedoes, like, usually uh, you can do things with ballast tanks and stuff like that. Uh, I'm gonna leave the APM guidance on because it actually works just fine, like, the APM is quite often strong enough to, um, uh, to push the torpedo down to whatever depth you want it to be, so that's actually just fine. Uh, it's going off script here, so we want fins, fins, fins. Uh, we can actually stick a ballast tank on here. Uh, but instead of that, I'm going to swap out. What do I want to do? I want to. Do I want more firepower? Okay, let's do torpedo propeller. Water thrust duration is 62 seconds. That's plenty. 80 seconds is overkill. So let's do that. And let's new. Let's new see if this thing can hit things that like to hide below the water. So let's spawn in a submarine of some kind. Let's spawn in a typhoon and turn that on god mode because that's important. Let's see, is that going to land straight on top of us? No it isn't. Oh, and I probably should adjust the one turn so it works a little better. So this thing is locked on. You can see the APN is managing to resist um, the uh, buoyancy of this thing just fine. There we go, and torpedo can actually, if we stick another fuel tank on here, it should be able to. I might swap out that frag warhead for. Uh, yeah, I do kind of like making your torpedoes too uh, too slow. Uh, can potentially be kind of disastrous because um, it can mean that uh, certain ships certain ships can outrun torpedoes, which is a bit of a problem. So yeah, that works just fine. Vertically launched torpedoes. Um, by the way, this is can potentially be a problem if um, enemy ships are potentially chucking a lot of missile interceptors, or if they're close and if they have sea whiz or lambs. Uh, they can shoot your torpedoes down while they're still in the air. So that is that is an issue. So I'm just going to make this a little bit faster. Uh, water thrust duration is blah blah blah. But I'm going to crank this up so it's fast. Or at least faster. Right, let's see if that makes things better. Let's spawn in our friend the Typhoon again. Oh, this thing's this thing is taking on water. Alright, let's spawn in the Typhoon again and see how well these torps do. There we go. And I think we waste a missile volley up there as well, which is a problem. Uh, you're gonna need to get in the water, please. There we go. I'm gonna follow you. We're gonna see how well you do. And you are much faster. 80 meters per second is probably good enough to catch any kind of... Um, any kind of, like, surface displacement vessel or submarine. I'm trying to remember the fastest submarine I've ever seen was allowed. I think it was 50 meters per second. It's a... It's a lightning hood sub that... Actually, I should test that right now. Screenshot! Wee Torpedoes. Oh, boy. I need to remember to duct tape torpedoes onto pretty much everything. Because, like, just having one torpedo can mean the difference between getting absolutely curb stomped by submarines or not now this video is much longer than it needs to be because i just like watching torpedoes do their thing it's so nice i could color code these two uh, let's see here let's do what should we do actually nah 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 it's fine it's fine it's fine all right so let's find that thing uh it's the hydrovolt that's not what i wanted and uh, that's not what i wanted either there it is, it's the Cherenkov. Let's see, its top speed is 47 meters per second, so let's see if these subs can catch it. These subs, these torps. So this thing is hilarious if you haven't seen it before, so... It's fast. It is basically an underwater fighter plane. So we'll have to see whether our torps can catch it at all. It has a whole bunch of torpedo interceptors as well, which makes things hard. And we got it. There we go. That's good torps. That's good torps. Yes. 
I call that a success. Alrighty, so that's basically it for uh, the missile, so to speak. This thing definitely needs um, a deck. And uh, she's not floating very well, unfortunately. There's a, she's very heavy. We might actually need to remove a lot of the heavy armor on here because it um, might be overkill. Uh, but once she actually has a full deck, um, that hopefully uh, should change things. Because the deck is actually planning to be kind of thick. Let's see here. How thick is this deck going to be? going to be three meters thick and there's going to be alloy. It's going to be nice and tight and smooth. So yeah, I think that we're done here for now. So, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in From the Depths, building a complete ship. Farewell.